Now, uh, someone is asking here, Sam Salao, that I've not included the Nigerians in Nigeria. I think the Nigerians in Nigeria also could go to the uh, to the blog and register as well. But apart from that, as students now, so I've done my own part by letting you know about the Nigerian project. Now, let's come back as students. Let's begin to think as students. Now, as students, you have been given the privilege and opportunity to go and observe how things function in systems. What system can do. And how systems are ch changing a nation. You've gone to see with your own eyes. You've seen what is possible. You've also been taught how to build your own systems. And how to become one of those who know how to build system and how to function. So now the question is what I have shown you now, is that in line or is there any collaboration between what you saw or what you've seen since you came? What you heard in the classroom and what I am doing. Is there any way you could unite and connect all that in yourself, in your mind? Because that holistic connection will help you to be able to step out in faith. And I want those people, especially who have not spoken, I said all of you should stand, keep standing and come to speak before you say it, but you didn't do it. So those who disobeyed and were stubborn and asked, uh, stone headed and, and on their own, you, it's now your turn to stand up and answer that question. Come there and answer the question. If you did not speak today, get up now before I die, they you. Because I'm going to embarrass you big time. Uh, even before he asked the question, I think that was actually what was on my mind. So I think it was me who was personally pitching out. Um, from the afternoon section I was around, one thing I want to appreciate, based on what I saw for the outline of the, the vision for Nigeria and everything. A bit louder, speak louder. Based on the vision for Nigeria and everything, it was actually really no what noise. I, Who is speaking there? <laughs> Please. What I appreciate about Pastor is that it's very, very purposeful and intentional. And you know, that part where the scripture says, Whatever you lay your hands to do, do it well and make sure it's done perfectly. If not, if you if you have no idea or no intention of doing something well, there there's no need for going into it in the first place. But everything, he, um, everything that was outlined from the first to the last vision was very purposeful to the detail. And that was actually very mind-blowing because even while I was in the afternoon section, when he was talking about the system, building system, and, you know, a structure to, you know, bring about a very good working system, I was so wowed by it because so many, <coughs> the reason why so many have, you know, tried and failed is because some of t sometimes they do have a vision. But how to get there, that is the problem. But from everything I saw in the vision for Nigeria and everything, it was detailed even to the least bit of it. And it's, it's something that made me really realize that with the intention and the purpose, 100%, there is no need or there is no reason whatsoever that we won't be successful in it. And it was actually really very... But do you connect that with, to your purpose? To your project, to your vision, to your life, to your destiny. Yeah, yeah yes, sir. Do you, yes, sir. Are you learning from this? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm actually learning a great deal from it because yes, the impact is going to be huge. And it's not just about me, myself, or my selfish interest, but about the life of others that we are called here to deliver and save. And it's, 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 it's really very, 
beneficial yeah. to me myself. Thank nice you, sir. Um, looking at it, um, I was kind of blown away because it's so it's so detailed, it's so wide. You know, it's like she said, it must be it must take a visionary to see something like this and put it together. Um, I know it's going to work because this I, this place, Ukraine, is just it's just a, a, a it's just a learning field, and he has done it here, so he can multiply it according to um, what we've, what we've been learning since that anything that has been done before can be done again, and it can be done in a bigger scale. It's just by repetition, and um, knowing that um, HMT is going to be HMT is very strenuous. <laughs> if you know from this HMT, you learn that um, the greatest resources you have is yourself. You know. And um, you're, you can, you can, it's only, you can build yourself to whatever you want <laughs> to be, you know. And it's just for you to continue to increase your capacity, to increase the values you add to yourself. And if it's taking HMT to Nigeria for one full year, it's going to be doing HMT. I'm sure it's going to bring I'm going us. I'm going to be doing it for three years. Raise up great leaders that one are ready to one, take territories, yeah. to, take, to take different institutions in Nigeria. And it's going to be amazing to see that transformation. Okay. So how are you going to take all that you saw, you learned, and you heard, and just, how are, is that all going to have a bearing into your own life and destiny? That's what I'm more interested in hearing as well. You are left hanging. Okay. You want to help her repeat the question? You want to repeat the question for her? No, no, you go ahead and repeat for her. She, he wanted to relate his story, you know, take your story in the picture. And, you know, yes. How is that going to affect your life and your ministry? What you have seen, heard, and learned? <laughs> from all of them. Um, my life has, I just realized that um, I've not been living to my full potential, to my full capability. Give her the mic. And that um, I'm really to change myself for this length of time that God has given to me. And I'm leaving this place knowing that my, my, my capability is limitless. It's just for me to continue to add value to myself. And I'm living today, I just learned about the systems and I realized a lot of Things have not been working because we, didn't, we have not been passing through the steps. I have not been passing through the steps. So even, even where, wherever I, whatever I'm going to be doing now from henceforth, is just going to be based on, on systems and the steps from the beginning to the end of it, or even up to the monitoring or multiplication of whatever I'm doing. I'm going to be going on systems and adding more and more values to myself with every day. I'm going to, um, no more time wasting anymore because Time wasters are just life wasters. That is very important to me because I want you to live here and get it. So all these things are models for you to follow. So it's important for me to hear. I want to know what you are hearing. I want to see what you are getting. And I want to be able to picture what you are going to... Are you planning... Do you know that you can do these things? Not just Pastor Sunday can do these things. So that was important for me. Uh, okay, for me, I've taken not much of planning how serious like we should be when we are planning something, because much much of the time, uh, like yeah. the work, it's like seven seven five percent of whatever you want to do is in the planning. So if you don't plan, then you've already you've already failed. You just can't jump into anything. So planning, like for me, is just a big deal. Like. You have to plan then the 25 it's not much of a big deal so 75 that, that's 75 in the planning we should like pay much attention to it yeah like have you presented your magazine not yet no not yet okay maybe you will do that tomorrow yes sure I really bless the Lord again to be here it's not an accident I'm not here by accident and uh, I'm really engaged and I'm 
ready to pay the price to work very hard because we can call it national transformation. As I was seeing the pictures, it's a national transformation and I will improve my English. I want to come in Algeria to see it and to... But I... No, but I have so many... I have so many things to, 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 to say. It's very frustrating for me and uh, very tired, but I will improve my English and I will come to see Nigeria. I will come, I will come and that's well. <laughs> Oscar? Guys, I um, understand the plan that Pastor Sunday has for Nigeria. He's done it in Ukraine. And all you need to do is duplicate it in Nigeria. He's already written, written a plan, it's not complicated. If you are interested in media, join his media team. If you're interested in uh, uh, catering or raising um, leaders in businesses or finance or politics, join the team. The plan is there. Since I've been there in Ukraine this morning, Pastor T um, Sunday elaborated on life that you work 75% on the plan and 25% on the actions. Yeah, so, so, the act, so the plan's done is, although it's not fully completed and we don't know where the finance is gonna come, it's already out there and it's just about us basically being committed to seeing what we can do to help contribute. Me, myself, right now, myself, I'm looking to establish myself first in the UK, that's just my honest truth right now first in the UK with what I'm doing with the internet. That's my own personal vision. But I do hope soon to join the Nigerian transformational team. And when I join, it will be in the media, publishing, movie sector, and even the book publishing sector, because that's what I do very well and independently. Yeah, but you know, I think you did not totally get my yeah. question. My question is this, with what you've seen done, yeah. what you've been taught in the classroom, and how I've exemplified it in my own life, how is that impacting your own vision, whatever your vision will be, whatever what you want to be? Are you learning from it? I, is it going, are you seeing a model, an example before you even go anywhere? Yes, um, um, I thought I said it when I said the planning, just uh, being detailed and meticulous. Um, with my own personal projects, I plan, uh, but my plans are not that detailed. So sometimes I find myself working hard for a few weeks, then I stop, then I go back. But there's something you said earlier. You said in your presentation that you have uh, um, a research marketing team that are looking at local states and looking at their needs. And with this plan, it just shows me that I need to be meticulous and detailed. And that's why I, make, that's why, that's why I, that's why I said before, that is about 75% of planning. So how I'm gonna uh, implement this in my own life is by taking probably a month out of my own personal life when I get back in solitude and create a plan for my life. Yeah, is that Good evening, everybody. God bless you all for this wonderful, wonderful job that you are doing. In fact, this is mind-blowing. I don't know where to start from. In fact, I was there and like freezed. In fact, I, <laughs> this, is, this is faith in action. This is faith and works going together. You said something when you just came in. You said success will demand from you what, more than what you are willing to give. This is a big challenge to we the the younger ones this is a big challenge yeah maybe it's also a, a diff I, I thank you that you mentioned that that might be a different way to do church for christians and for pastors that church should be done this way yes, sir. rather than just the way of preaching and talking is that is that tell is that what this is meaning to you also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is more than mere words. This, this is action that we can see. And thank God, 
I came 2013 and I saw most of these things that you wrote here already functioning, already working. And I believe if they, 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 they are working here, I believe they can work anywhere. Yes. If you can do this in a foreign land, then you can do it in a place where we call a son of the soil. Where nothing can really hold you back. So, sir, this is great. And it's a big challenge for me. It's a big challenge. Are you taking back this experience? Because that's what I'm more concerned about. I am concerned that you people have not been entertained here. I'm really concerned that you'll be able to see how things are supposed to be done. And I'm concerned that you will go back and learn, change and begin to function like what you have seen here. That's my concern. I don't just need you to admire what you have seen. But I'm more particular about you knowing this is the way to function if you want to become a history maker. And then to adopt that and pick, at least know it in your mind that this is what to move towards. And this is my goal. This is my target. This is how I'm supposed to be living. That's what I want to hear as well. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's wonderful, sir. It's wonderful. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> You are lost of, for words or what? <laughs> wow. So, um, when I found out about um, the idea that you're going to go back to Nigeria and um, do the plans, um, do the things what you said, um, I never doubted you, but the question for me was how are you going to do that? Because, I mean, I, I lived in Nigeria for a few years, so I got to experience, like, I got to, be, I got to be able to see the corruption that's there, the, the poverty, um, you know, the children, like, I don't, I don't know if I should say this, but I might as well say it anyway. Like, I've, I've seen, like, dead bodies and stuff, like, on the roadside, on the motorway, and just, you know, like as if, as if it's been there since, I don't know, probably months or weeks and stuff. So for me, seeing that shows the state of the... Um, Decadence. Yeah. Of the nation. Because, you know, before going to Nigeria, I've grown up my whole life in London. So seeing that is completely strange, weird. So when I, when I went to Nigeria and I seen that, or, you know... The police system, you know, they, you know, just, you know, trying to bribe you and everything. Or when you call the police, it's, it will take, it will take a long time before they come. So I'm thinking, the, the, you know, the mental state of the country itself. I was thinking, like, you know, how, how, how are you gonna, you know, how are you gonna do that? Because I guess, in order to change a nation, one of the fundamental factors you need to change is their mindset from the from the start, because that's the beginning of change when you change the way you, you think of things. So for me, I was just wondering, like, how are you going to do that? So then this evening, you know, you showed us the slide and everything and uh, um, well, the basic template of what you're going to do. And you've broken it down into the most detailed, to the most detailed level for you to be able to say, <coughs> okay, what about this section, this section? And you can see how it is possible. So for me, you know, before I was wondering how is it going to be possible, and now I can see how possible it is. And um, I remember in the first session you mentioned that, um, you know, um, generally we just think geniuses are born, and you know, we're not geniuses or something. And we see all these other people, and we're like, oh wow, these are, you know, these are, these people are better than us or something. But you know, you've explained to us that we also can be geniuses, but we have to be able to understand that, identify that, and begin to believe that. And so for me, wh how, what I'm taking away from this is, um, I, I, f I believe I need to expand my vision. I need to really expand it. And one of the first things I need to do 
is I really, really, really need to absorb all the information um, that I've heard today and even from the start of the HMT because I have to, I have to, um, I have to make an impact. I can't know this information and just go back to London and, no. and live a normal life because for me it's as if, um, it's as if, you know, they give you a weapon and that weapon you can use that or they give you a tool and you use that tool to, you know, cure the situation. But you saw it there and you just said, I can't be bothered with that. I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just, you know, relax here or just, you know, just get on with life and do something else. And, you know, that opportunity to save people, to save a nation is just, you know, they're suffering because you didn't, you didn't fulfill your purpose. So it's as if, like, my destiny is connected to many other people's destinies. So if I don't, if I don't pursue my destiny, um, then other people's lives are going to suffer. Other people may not be able to fill their destiny. And um, another point that you made was, you know, we have to give 100%. 100%. And if we don't give 100%, it's, it's like we're not hitting that point. We're not going to hit that point. So for me, I know that I need a real transformation in my mind. It's as if, for me, it's like right now it's like, you know, 50-50, but I need to I need to get to that point. I need to get to the point that I can be that's comfortable. That's the absolute commitment. I have to be comfortable with being seen as a lunatic in society because that's just what it is. Because if, if I just explain this to someone like, um, you know, we're going to go to Nigeria and we're going to change this, we're gonna, they're going to think, how are you going to do that? You're crazy. How can you, how can you even think like that? But in order, to make, in order to do that, you have to think like that. There's no other way around it. You can't think, oh, okay, I'm just going to pray and we wait for God to do something. Or we're just going to fast or, or we just hope, we just pray one day God's going to send somebody. That's somebody's you. Once you're saying we hope God's going to send somebody, that person is you. So for me, and I'm not going to lie, if, any, if, if you asked me when I was a kid that are you going to be doing something like this or are you going to... No, I have no clue of imagination. So for me, I have a lot to work on in my own personal self before I can do that. Because, like you said, it starts with you first before you can duplicate, before you can make things happen. So I have a lot of work to do within myself. So, yeah. Um, I'm very uh, excited that I got to see the project. Um, I think I. I never thought this could be done, and the fact that you can actually s you you see this plan, you can actually visualize it. I can actually visualize it, um, and it is overwhelming. But it's been broken down into different chunks that can be digested by people who are working in individual sectors. And I thank you because you even included my area and even areas that may not matter, like games and, and stuff like that. But they are all. One of the one of the things uh, that I really hope that you people gain from here is that in the morning I spoke to, in morning afternoon I spoke to you people about the importance of systems and that systems will allow you to resolve any problem yeah. or attain any goal. System yeah. enables you to do that. So now. You know, I gave you an example of 10,000 people, 1,000 people. Those were little things. But just for me to be able to communicate and pass the message across to you, that what, just for you to know what is possible through system. But, the, but in the evening now, it's like the practical part of what I taught you in the morning. Of course, this is much more, more complex than 10,000 people. Or, but... The idea is still yeah. trying to tell you that systems 
will resolve. Even in the morning when I was talking about 10,000 people, it looks complicated to you. But when you now see this, you see that that was not really complicated. But in the morning, I also told you about the importance of details. Don't leave out anything. You see everything. Now, it's good that you are noticing that, that even in, the, in this project, which is much more complex than the morning time, you see, even, you see attitude, what, exactly what I told you in the morning, that details are important. And I'm just, I need to know that you are actually connecting what you went to see on Monday, what you've been seeing since you came here, what I taught you in the classroom, and the example I'm leaving before you. I, 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 you know, it's important for me that you don't lose things like that, that you connect, you are, you see yourself in all that as a holistic thing. Yes, I, I believe it's all, it's, it's all the same. It's like you can see the result. We went out and we saw the result. We came in and came in and learned the process. And today we can see what will be done and what can be done on a bigger scale. That's definitely what I learned today. So, which means you can now live your life that way or strive to live your life in a similar way. Is that what we are talking about? Yes, yes. And it's anyone can, anyone can do it as long as they develop the... Anyone can do it as long as we develop the system that needs to be put in place and apply the principles to it. coming round the second time um, because, um, you know, I was reading the book we were supposed to read for tomorrow, um, Only God Can Save Nigeria, and um, I mean, sitting down just a few no, minutes. The Zuch, not that group, she said, like, yeah. Really got to. Okay. Yeah, sitting down there just a few minutes ago, what I felt in my heart, you see that this is, a, this is an issue of passion and compassion. You know, they're those two things married together. It's not just, oh, you know, it's not about you in that way it, there's a there's a like um pastor co constantly talks about um like um, people to, who need to be delivered people who are moaning and groaning under the pain of oppression so there's there's an element of passion there's also an element of compassion you know to go in and get involved um, with this project um, i'm getting involved on several levels and looking at what um, pastor showed us um today um, I could see more, more areas where I can get involved, but probably would have to be a matter of priority. But my um, initial thing was, like I said, financial education, entrepreneurship, there may be women projects, leadership projects maybe within the church, maybe the M HMT program. Um, but as I, because I started, well, I've, I'm already working on things. Um, I have several little ministries that I run um, along those lines. And, you know, I've listed, all, I've listed them this evening because um, this morning we looked at the fact that you have a goal then you need to look at the time span and things like that so i started working on that but um i i think what was coming to my mind oh i wish um, pastor had a spreadsheet <laughs> with this um that we can just fill in you know the details so I, I i don't know if you have anything like that that might be helpful in helping plan the structure if you have a spreadsheet or a template. My concern is not that about Nigeria now. We are not talking. I'm not, I don't want you, I'm not concerned about you going to Nigeria, about the Nigerian project right now. I'm just showing you way, the way you are supposed to live if you want to become a history maker. Yeah, okay. Mm. You went to see some things on Monday. Mm -hmm. You came to the classroom. You were to taught some things. You are being shown how these things function. Mm -hmm. Even if you are going to become part of history maker, I mean, Nigeria, going to Nigeria, that's good. That's, but what is more important than that is to change your content. Yeah. I want you to change you, yeah. your, your, you, your understanding, mm -hmm. your world view, your approach mm -hmm. to life, your yes. paradigm, yes. Your, your mode operandi. You know, the way you are prayed, the way you relate to life, the way you build things, the way you live your own life. You don't have to go to Nigeria mm -hmm. and you don't have to be part of it. But if we could get you to be changed, mm -hmm. to see things differently, to be able to approach things holistically, to be able to plan things for yourself, 
to be able to know and know exactly what is required of you to be able to do good get, get things on a grand scale. Mm -hmm. Judging by what you have seen, mm -hmm. what you have heard, what has been demonstrated before you, if you could change from the inside, the goal of history maker would have been attained. But the other things about the trip and all that, we will get in touch with you people later on and we'll do the detailed uh, analysis of that. Praise the Lord. Um, I just want to thank God for the life of Pastor, Pastor Sunday. When myself and my... You have to speak louder because people are not hearing. And when they come over here. When myself and my uh, associate pastor were coming, uh, the major thing we had in mind was that you are a big man and you are speaking so so <laughs> weak. <laughs> Speak so the, loud. The, the the major thing we had in mind we had it because like I told you, um, I met Pastor Sunday uh, several years ago and I've been studying. He gave me his book. I've been studying and listening to his video. Then we behind our mind we prayed and then we asked God, uh, we want to come and study what this man is doing. And then, because the, the, we, we know that if you are going to get anything from a man, you must know what the guy knows. And then number two, you must be able to do what he's doing. If you don't know what he knows and you can't do what he's doing, don't expect the kind of result that, because results are not uh, mysteries. So when we went out into those uh, places, and then today when we came into the class and he was teaching us about system, then the dot was connected that the secret behind everything he's doing is the ability to resolve problems using systems. And that is the way he runs everything. And that is also the model of the plan that he presented tonight for Nigerian transformation. You see the way he's joining everything together, the way he's talking holistically. Yes. So, and that is what myself and my, my, my associate pastor, we are taking back. We are going to put everything into system because we discover that system works because they will be based on god's principles and law and it will replicate itself anywhere in the world and then we will run the system and like it he made us to know that everything is about 75 percent planning that the brain work is 75 percent and then the actual action is 25 percent and if we can put in that we are going to get the same result thank you so much very well. That's exactly what I was looking up for. Also. Very well said. Very well. Only the voice was too weak for me. <laughs> Amen. Um, I'm taking back the, the fact that because as I was sitting there and just looking through the entire you know thing that was being shown us the system i said to myself you know a scripture just came where jesus said to simon and said look flesh and blood does not reveal this to you and the question i asked was it must you know where and how and the answer came from the place of solitude and so i said to myself um i often going to solitude especially since our you know since our april visit and i've been spending time with i mean for months i was even no sound you, yeah you to go, go, go. Yes. there is okay don't worry go ahead and um it's so far from your mouth from is it far oh. a little bit far yeah well, i should yes. i should lower it here. yeah is it all right good. now that's good yeah right and so to me, solitude is not just about being in God's presence and then coming out. But what are you coming out with? <laughs> you know, many of us go into it and the only thing we do is pray and pray and pray. But do we come back with something tangible in the sense that, you know, I'm sure that all this you must have documented whilst being in God's presence. Yeah. You didn't wait until you got home, which was, I think, the error had been, had been, you know, I would stay in God's presence and then, you know, I'll be in prayer, then come out 
to then document. But I think you were documenting as you were in his presence. Yep. So I'm going back with that, that, you know, your, your, your place of solitude and intimacy is not just, you know, for you to pray for. And do spiritual and things. Exactly. Uh, and, you know. You need to be creative. Creative and be let it be productive. Yes. And come out with substance. Yes. So that really, if that's all I've come here to get this time, I think it would have been worth it. Because you have a lot of projects and ideas and visions and, you know, things are given to you. It's not that, we're, you know, God does not give us visions. But the, the planning and, you know, what we write down and how we get to, you know, uh, accomplishing, I think that's where the issue is. And so I'm just so grateful for that, um, that the Holy Ghost was able to drop that into my spirit, man, that you actually stayed in his presence and downloaded all these things. You didn't wait till, you know, um, you would come out before downloading. And, you know, I, um, sorry, I brought out this and um, felt to just encourage us with that. Um, that if, if there's any time that our, national anthem should be meaningful to us it, it it should be now and it says arise oh compatriots i, I don't know it all by heart so that's why i'm reading it nigerians call obey but i feel that this vision is calling now Fire. and we uh -huh. yeah. sorry and, and we should obey to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith the labor not just the labor of our heroes past but our heroes now and i know it won't be in vain so we can't pray that shall never but i know it will not be in vain to serve with heart and might a nation bound in freedom peace and unity and the second verse says oh god of creation direct our noble cause i know god's the direction is already here so we already have it Guide our leaders right. God's already guiding him. Help our youth the truth to know. Now our youths will know the truth. As we invade Nigeria. In love and honesty to grow. And living just and through. Great lofty heights attain. Now for real. For real and for real. We can attain great heights. Our youth can attain great heights. Graduates will no longer be unemployed. Because they will be illuminated. The, the, the poor will no longer be stranded. When I saw that project where uh, um, the, the, the destitute, the hungry, the poor will be fed. I don't know, but it touched my heart. That no one has to beg on the street anymore. If this is going to be in every state, then it means that you know, it covers ev everyone here. Everyone in Nigeria is, is, is involved, whether the elderly, the poor, you know, whoever. So I just want to appreciate God for you. I'm going back, you know, illuminated, and especially with, 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 with that act of solitude, knowing that when I get in God's presence, I'm coming back with substance and pro produce. And 75% of it will have, been, will have been achieved whilst in God's presence. God bless you. Whilst being here in these couple of days, <clears throat> I've seen that Pastor Sunday, through his systems and methods and uh, practices, he's come to a foreign country from his own, and he's reached to people that are not Christian country to begin with. And that means the systems that he's put in place, they are working. I've seen it firsthand through various ministries. He's reached millions of people, and he sat in the place of Ukraine, which is not a Christian country, led by a leader who is not of their own race. So therefore, I know that the, these systems are working, and I can take them with confidence to my country and to where I live and put them in practice, and I know that they will work, they will achieve the same goals, and I'll achieve the same results because they can be replicated in any country, anywhere we go. That's exactly what we did. Thank you. Any other person left? Okay, thank you. Now, so, 
Welcome to HMT. The first day you came, I told you you would get so much information. And somebody was saying, we want to know how to do things. I said, you will know so much, you have so much information on how to do things that you will just be begging God and God should help you to not be able to implement those things. I think we are living up to that. But tomorrow, it continues again. So make sure you sleep. Get a sleep, get a good sleep. It's harder. No time. Both sleep. Sleep. You need to regain that strength. Tomorrow is another rich day. Who is sleeping tomorrow? Le- what time? This morning. In two hours. And you two in two hours. Are you all of you are living in two hours? You want to take pictures with me? Now, I'm okay. <laughs> where is the photographer? You are, where is your camera? It's a professional camera. Pastor. Because, because <laughs> where is the camera? Okay, I think we have to say bye to people on the Facebook. So, for those on the Facebook, we want to say thank you for being with us. We'll be back tomorrow morning. God bless you. Paka, that's with Daniel.